Hey there, everyone. Coach Kelly here from Zen Planner. I am at Lift in Virginia Beach. I hope you had a chance to watch our pillars video inside of our foundations playlist. We talked about community, programming, and joy as the three main pillars of running your best gym or studio or dojo. And today I want to talk to you a little bit more about each of those three pillars. We're gonna start with community, we're gonna move to programming, and then finally we are going to finish with joy. Let's get started. Let's start with community. I want to dive in and really talk specifically about how you build community inside of your facility. It is one of my favorite things to do, and I think I'm pretty good at it after 15 years in this industry. I feel as though it is the single most important thing for retaining your customers. The only way that you make money in this business is through retention. High churn of members in and out of your facility is not a long lasting business plan. The way that we keep members coming back is through friendship, community, family, it all is all encompassing. So the number one way that we build community and the number one thing I'm gonna ask you to do over the next few months is to start to build an event program into your space. So for me, I like to sit down in front of a calendar and map out three, six and nine month events. So what do I want to hap- what do I want to see happening in a- in my facility in the next 3 months? What would I like to see in the next 6 months? And then what would I like to see in the next 9 months? For me it looks like seminars for continuing education, um, holiday events, member appreciation events, uh, charity events, all of those kinds of things. Those are the four main types of community events that I like to have. From there, I meet with my staff and we go over schedules and we start to set dates for our events. The way that we utilize Zen Planner with our events and building our community is through our email campaigns, through our consistent SMS messaging and through newsletters. So we'll help you set up all of those templates so that you can simply write out your email campaign, write out your SMS messages, and also write out those newsletters, and you'll just be able to hit send, and it goes to all of your members. From there, your members can opt in to gain more information, and then we have workflows that are going to work for you, keeping them engaged, reminding them of the events coming up, maybe responding after events and thanking them for coming. So there's all kinds of ways that our software can work for you when it comes to events. My challenge for you with community is to pick three events for the next three months, one per month. So you can start in January, an event for January, an event for February, an event for March, or you can just send it and do one in December, January, February, whatever works for you. I want to pick three events. I want you to write them down, meet with your staff and start to curate what that email campaign in Zen Planner is going to look like. Next, I want to talk about programming. Programming isn't just the workout that you write or the session that you come up with for your members. It is all encompassing. It is what you are providing. It is the service you are providing inside of your facility. So your programming is the workout that you write. It's also the uh, classes that you structure, the timing of those classes, the language that your coaches use. It really is everything inside of your facility. Great programming keeps people coming back. You don't want them to get bored. You want them to know what to expect when they walk through the door, whether you're the coach or somebody else is in charge. They know that they're going to get a similar program programming across the board. For me, I like to handle the programming in my facilities and I do it on a weekly basis. I schedule all of the classes out and then I send it out to my coaches and they ask any questions, they give any feedback. Each class is structured in the same way so that my members come in and they know what to expect. They know that on Mondays, we're probably doing a lower body intensive and they know that on Wednesdays, they're going to do an Olympic movement. So inside of your facility, whether it be martial arts or yoga or CrossFit, you can come up with a schedule that really allows your members to understand what they're going to be walking into. There are no surprises and then communicate that with your coaches. It's a really great way to showcase yourself in your website, having a programming page that explains what each class looks like, what the expectation is, and then 
your website is going to display that to your customers and they're able to explore that utilizing your Zen Planner software. And finally, the third pillar, and I think the most authentic and important pillar is joy. Joy is going to come from community. It's going to come from programming. It really is the overarching feeling that you want to create inside of your community, inside of your gym, um, inside of your studio. We want our members to feel happy when they walk through our doors. Joy is created through support through constant communication. Uh, we are lifting up our members, whether it be through goal setting reviews or just a simple SMS text message that you set up. Our software is going to be able to help you keep in touch with not only leads that are coming in who are looking for your facility, but new members and also veteran members. We don't want to forget about them. Creating joy across the board is really important for your gym. And we hope that these tips help you do that. Make sure that you check out the other videos inside of our foundations playlist. You can also explore growth and mastery as well as extra, extra and tough topics. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe, take a look at all of the content that we have here on our YouTube so that we can help you build your best business.